Rio Ferdinand admits he was wrong with Christian Eriksen and Manchester United comments. Christian Eriksen has made quite the impact at Manchester United since joining the club on a free transfer and Rio Ferdinand has been forced to eat his words on the midfielder. Rio Ferdinand has held up his hands and admitted he underestimated the impact Christian Eriksen would make at Manchester United. Eriksen joined United on a three-year contract in July following the expiry of his deal with Brentford. The 30-year-old was one of the more understated arrivals of the summer transfer window, with big money arrivals Lissandro Martinez, Casemiro and Antony taking most of the headlines. The former Tottenham midfielder has settled in well in Eric Ten Hag's side, starting all six of United's Premier League games this season. And after suffering humiliating defeats against Brighton and Brentford, United have begun to click, recording four consecutive wins to move up to fifth in the league. Eriksen was influential in United's 3-1 win over Arsenal on Sunday, recording an assist as Antony and Marcus Rashford did the damage. Ferdinand previously questioned Ten Hag's decision to sign Eriksen, believing he would only amount to being a squad player and saying he would be surprised if the Dane became a regular starter. He has now eaten his words. Can I give a special, special shout-out to my man of the match Christian Eriksen? Ferdinand said on Vibe with 5. I have to hold my hand up. I was one of those who was skeptical about the signing. It's another signing. I'm sure from Eric Ten Hag, it was his decision to take him. At the moment you cannot argue with that decision. In the game today his passing, the first one when he wrapped it with the eyes, took out about five players in the Arsenal team. The other one where he plays it to Bruno Fernandes and he puts it in for Rashford and obviously the assist. His forward passing is up there with the best in the league at the moment. I was a bit skeptical asking, what's he going to bring? Is he going to start? Well, yes he's starting and, yes, he's producing so, Ericsson I salute you. Ericsson has kept his place in the starting lineup despite the 70 million pounds arrival of Casemiro from Real Madrid. He has been forced to stay on the substitutes bench, with Ten Hag sticking with the midfield partnership of Ericsson and Scott McTominay. That has left Casemiro on the bench with his Brazil teammate Fred, while Fernandez plays further forward. It looks to be the formula of Ten Hag's chosen style of play, which has been developed despite United's inability to sign top target Frenkie de Jong from Barcelona. United will play Real Sociedad in the Europa League on Thursday before facing Crystal Palace in the Premier League on Sunday. The packed fixture schedule is likely to mean some rotation for Eriksen, who only returned to the game last season after suffering a cardiac arrest while playing for Denmark at Euro 2020. Subscribe to my YouTube channel MUFC Hot Sports for more information about Manchester United.